You know, at its core, masonry is really about self-improvement. But how do we as masons actually go about improving ourselves? I'm going to give you four things that all good masons should do every day. Welcome to the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry channel. I'm Maynard Edwards, 33rd degree Scottish Rite Mason. In the Scottish Rite specifically, we are taught that goodness, being a good man, being a good person, that's not a place at which you arrive and there's some kind of finish line where I'm done, I'm a good person, that's the end of it. Being a good person is a habit we are taught, something that we do every day through our thoughts, our words, our actions, our choices. That is what being a good person is. That is what being a good Mason is. It's about making those good choices. And it's obviously about doing that consistently. So here are four things that all good Masons should be doing. You're probably doing a few of these, and I'll tell you, the one at the end, if you're not doing it, can be pretty transformative. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video to catch number four. The first one is going to be pretty obvious to most Masons, and that is you should be saying your prayers every single day. In a Masonic Lodge, one of the very first things that we are taught right as we first enter the Lodge is that no man should engage in anything great or important without invoking the blessing of God. And since every single day provides us with the opportunity to do some great things, in the morning when we wake up, we should take just a couple of minutes and thank God and ask God for his blessings for the day. And then again, at the end of the day, we should thank God for the blessings that we have received. Thank him for getting us through another day. Now, as Masons, we don't tell you what God to pray to. I'm a Christian. I have Lodge brothers who are Muslim, who are Jewish, and each of them have their own way of praying. And whether your method of talking to God is very personal, where it's just you and the Almighty having a little conversation, or whether you're of a faith that has a very specific prayer ritual. Whatever your faith is, a good man and a good mason should set aside a little time in the morning and a little time at the evening, at the very least, to say your prayers and just check in with God a little bit. The second habit that all good masons should try and get into is try and learn something new every single day. When we come into the Masonic Lodge, something we hear quite often is, my son, gather instruction from thy youth up. It's a Bible verse. And this is an important instruction. This tells us that every day we should be learning something new. We should be trying to improve our intellect. And whether it's something silly, like learning a new card trick, or it's something more profound, like learning about the history of masonry, maybe doing some research on your own family. Whatever it is you do, just try and learn something a little bit new every single day. And that's going to improve you each and every day as a man and as a mason. And remember, I've got four of these. The last one, that's going to be the transformative one, so make sure you stick around. But I do want to ask you real quick... Click that subscribe button below. Subscribe. It really does help us out. Give us a thumbs up. And if you're a Mason, make sure you comment on what your good habits are each and every day. And give your Lodge or your Scottish Rite Valley a shout out while you do. Number three is, is kind of a big deal in my mind and it's something that I know I should do a better job at and I, I hope if you're watching brethren you will try and do a better job at as well and that is check in with a brother give him a call send him a text message shoot him an email I'm not saying you need to stop what you're doing and pen a five-page letter to every brother you know I'm not saying you need to spend two hours on the phone or make a long-distance call I mean do people even make long-distance calls anymore you don't need to do that. But just send a brother once a day. 
a text message, an email. Give them a quick call and say, hey, man, haven't seen you in a little while. Just was saying hi. I wanted to let you know you're important to me. That sounds a little strange. It's a little strange thing for, for guys to do. But if you just send them a text message that says, hey, buddy, was thinking about you, wanted to say hi, I promise you that he will appreciate it. And also, you will be absolutely amazed how often you send a message like that, that the guy on the other end of the phone says, man, you don't know how badly I needed to hear this call. You don't know how badly I needed to get your text message today. So take five seconds and send that text message to a lodge brother you haven't seen in a little while. That means so much and it will connect you not only to that individual, but it connects you to the fraternity as well because this is a brotherhood. Just a quick reach out, just a few seconds out of your day, that is really going to make someone else's day. So why wouldn't you take just a few seconds and do that? That's number three. Number four, that's the one you're really going to want to wait for. It's coming up. So number one, make sure you're giving thanks to God and saying your prayers every single day. Number two, make sure you learn something new every single day. It's only going to improve your life. Number three, reach out to a brother. Say hello, whether it's a guy you haven't seen in a month or a guy you saw just last night, reach out and say hi to one of your Lodge brothers. And number four, and this is the one that's really going to be transformative for you. At the end of every day, take just a couple of minutes and think back over your day and think about what you did well, and think about what you need to do better tomorrow. No matter what it is, whether you're working on a work project, whether you were coaching kids soccer, no matter what it is that you did that day, take just a couple of minutes out of each day and give yourself a little pat on the back for your successes, no matter how small they were. You should celebrate them. They come too rarely in life. So just take a minute and appreciate yourself for the good things that you did that day. But then also take a minute and think about the things that you need to do better tomorrow tomorrow because that is how we improve. We give ourselves a little credit. We give ourselves a little praise for the work we did today. But tomorrow, we've got the opportunity to wake up again, thank God for another day, and do something even better. And that's really what the entire Masonic journey is about. It's the rough ashlar to the perfect ashlar. It's chipping away at your own rough edges a little at a time. And these four habits that we talked about, if you do them each and every day, I promise you, you will chip away at a few of those rough edges. Is this is this weird? Is me walking in the woods kind of weird? Well, there was another video guy and he he was walking in the woods and I thought it looked kind of cool, so I thought we could walk in the woods too. Mason's walk in the woods, right? What was that? Thanks for watching. I'm Maynard Edwards, 33rd Degree. Uh, we'll catch you uh, next time here on the channel. And uh, don't forget, if you are interested in becoming a Freemason, click that video right there. If you'd like to help us preserve Masonic history, click that link right there. And if you want to watch some more cool Masonic videos, make sure you click that link right there. I'll see you next time. I gotta go.